Video Marketing A Parable This is a story about a man named Pete. Pete was a local businessman who made widgets. Pete loved widgets. Pete sold his widgets by handing out business cards at local business groups. He threw up a web page hoping people would find it and buy widgets there. He even tried direct mail, the brown book, and cold calling. These worked okay, but it took Pete away from what he really loved doing, and that was making widgets. Pete also loved his wife, and she loved fine dining. They had a growing family to support, so Pete needed a way to sell more widgets without becoming a full-time salesman. Pete talked to Jim, his local video marketing expert, who suggested that Pete use video in his marketing. Jim explained that video was the number one way to create content, generate leads, and to gain exposure and credibility. So Pete posted a simple video about his business on YouTube, and it got a few views, mostly from his family. Jim explained to Pete the importance of title, tags, and descriptions. Jim also talked about the concept of high demand and low supply keywords and how by targeting those you can boost your results. Together, Jim and Pete did some keyword research and came up with better targeted title, tags, and descriptions for his video. Jim employed some other tactics that helped boost views too. Pretty soon, Pete's video was getting more and more views and more and more people were commenting. Jim told Pete the concept of distribution. Imagine having your video on every channel available, said Jim. Jim taught Pete about the big four and how to leverage his videos on those platforms to grow his audience. Jim also explained the concept of reciprocity, the value exchange. Jim tweaked Pete's website to better collect leads by offering a free gift in exchange for some valuable customer information. Jim explained that the free gift could be a report, more detailed videos, or even a widget sample. Jim also helped Pete distribute his videos to a lot of social media sharing sites around the web, and Pete's audience continued to grow. Jim suggested that Pete shoot a series of videos on the value of widgets, how to pick a widget, and what to watch out for when widget shopping. Pete's wife even got into the act and shot a widgets at home episode. More and more people saw the videos and more and more people went to the website and got their free gift. By sending out pertinent information through email, SMS, voicemail, and regular mail, Pete could keep the conversation going. By reaching people where and when they needed the information most, widgets began to fly out the door. And they all lived happily ever after. Thanks for watching this presentation. If you have a question or comment, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a message below.